when uh, we look at uh, evil and the liars, the lawyers who operate this legal system, uh, they advocate the same scam and scheme and, and techniques of deception that uh, Satan did back in the Garden of Eden with Eve. Uh, he got her to act uh, in, under an assumpset uh, position, um, assuming that she could do something that she really couldn't do, and he tricked her into it. Um, we've spoken about that in detail in other videos, but uh, we're going to go to the word, what is assumpset? And then we're going to relate to things we've talked before, but we're just joining the dots, so to speak, on the definitions of the word so you can see where this goes. So we're going to go to a sumset. I'm reading out of the Black's 10. Law Latin, he undertook. An express or implied promise, not under seal, by which one person undertakes to do some act or pay something to another. An assumpset to pay a debt. Now, we already talked about you consenting to guarantor a title that's really not yours because you've been led to believe that your entire life. You were trained to claim and take um, an unnecessary sharehold, common share of the debt by claiming the public title for private use. So, when we go to the next, we look at this on the document, it said it wasn't under seal. Such a, such a situation of some sits not under seal. Well, you notice that they don't put the seal on the statement of birth record that the, that the parents filled in placing the given name on there. So this document's not really under seal. If it was, it'd be sealed in there already. Your fate in their legal fictitious world is not sealed. You still have a choice because they can't take away what's yours without your consent. The consent makes the contract. So if you walk in as an assumptive operator that says, let me pay the debt, well, why would the evil step in your way? They go, I hope this dummy does it. His parents did it. I'm sure that the dummies are going to keep on repeating the same error over and over. We got lots of years to train them in this. Okay, so now we're going to look at the word legal conclusion. A statement of legal duty without stating fact from which the duty arises. Okay, well, how could possibly the child have a duty to the state on that last name? Impossible. Okay, now remove the private name of the child on there, and now you just got the duty to those that have got themselves into the duty for the deception that they're perpetrating. The purporters of this evil fraud are the lawyers. They're the lying, scamming, rotten SOBs, statement of birth guys, that plotted this from the beginning. This is going back a long ways. This goes right back to the beginning. But remember, you have to consent to break the law in order to be in this. Of course, the bad guys want you to be licensed to break the law because in that way they can collect a fee. And a fine, and then you'll be educated in their world of imagination language, and then you will be refined over and over again. You'll feel very refined. Remember, you want to feel well, and you don't get, you get water from a well, you don't get a fine from a well. Okay, so we, we've been so imprinted with bad word spells that you've been caught in the artifice. You even believe that the word smart with art in it is a good word, and I'm gonna send my children into the public school education to be smart. Oh, to go in there and injure themselves with knowledge that is not real away from God. They'll believe they came from primates, chimpanzees or apes and evolved. And of course, what does that legal system lead them into once they go through that educational program? They'll get them into the banking to borrow, and then they'll give prime rates to primates. Um, and they've got a wonderful life sentence 
plan for people who like to take public title for their own private use and they give them 25 year life sentences with renewable interest rates for taking on and undertaking a title that was never theirs to begin with for their own private use. Now you think the lawyers are going to want to give up the, the truth on this one? Come on now. They are in every space, everywhere based on Satan. And those guys have crossed the line between God, truth, and into evil with Satan. And that's why they're called the devil's advocates. And I don't care if you're a lawyer listening right now and you think that I've just, you know, sent out an offensive, you know, message to you. You're going down with your leader. And right now when God's people wake up and they start pulling out to support the your unholy legal temple, you're going to be the guys acting as the responsible trustees of your own legal false title. And there'll be no more labor contractions for those that were induced into labor through this entire framed scam <laughs> that you see here that was you were never sealed into so when you remove your god-given private name out of the satanic legal surety ship you're now in the book of life you're not in their book of the dead anymore so this is over i hope that we're getting to the conclusion on this um where i, I ask you to look up definitions of trust versus uh, assumption what is the difference i'm only going to read this very quickly just as a quick taster you can look it up in the dictionary in your own time but here is the definition of what they say is the difference between assumption and tr and trust it says as nouns the difference between trust and assumption is that trust is confidence in or reliance on some person or quality while assumption is the act of assuming or taking to or upon oneself the act of taking up or adopting so you adopted their title in because they had no one else to take it on they it has no power unless you adopt it and so you became almost like a parent with a parent authority and of course the pay rent authority pays rent on the title and they can't operate the monopoly board without your consent so hopefully take the time these are not complicated videos these are not complicated subject matters i'm just taking off the surveillance that's over your eyes right now because you're not realizing you're doing it to yourself. They don't have cameras everywhere surveillancing everybody that's using their legal surveillance public name by chance. They're doing that because they want to know what you're doing with their property at all times, even though it is fictitious. So the wake up's happening. The temple of evil is about to come down the synagogue of Satan and it is run by those who deny the messiah the temple's about to come down 